Okay, now we're going to demo the uh, mesh editor. Um, this is the first person shooter file. Um, this is the source code. Luso's uh, source code can have graphics and, un and superscripts and subscripts and links. Anyway, uh, here's the map for the uh, first person shooter. We did that as a graphic. And uh, here's some uh, bad guys. I'm going to make a, add a gun to one of these uh, bad guys. Um, these two are uh, used for uh, walking. As you can, one has one foot forward, the other has the other foot forward, and it interpolates to uh, to walk. Here's what it looks like right now. Um, you can see him over here dancing away. Uh, anyway, uh, this is just a uh, this is a 500 line first person shooter, and uh, I think that's pretty good. Um, it's kind of a demo. I haven't really embellished it all that much. But anyway, we're, we're going to put a gun on one of these guys here. Uh, so we go control. Let's let's go full screen. Control R. Uh, that's the uh, resource editor. You can also get it from here, resource. Anyway, uh, now the uh, mesh editor is under the insert menu uh, just because it's easier that way for me. Anyway, create edit 3D mesh. Well, I had to select anyway. Uh, okay, now uh, here's our guy, and uh, we're gonna put a gun in his hands. Uh, so uh, I have it rotated 180. I'm gonna zoom, hit Z to zoom, and uh, now uh, first we want to get the Z coordinate right. Uh, so uh, we're going to hit J to jump to the Z coordinate at this point, which is one of his hands. Um, and then uh, I'm going to go step 5 in front of that. This is at 45. Now we're going to, you hit the right mouse button to change the Z coordinate. Hold the right mouse button and move. There, I just changed the Z coordinate to 50. Now we're going to place some vertices uh, for a gun. So, uh, vertex, vertex, uh, uh, let's see, vertex, we want a barrel. Okay, now I'm going to put some triangles on there. So we go, uh, first let's set the color, we'll make it a, a what the heck, a gray gun, gray and white. Anyway, uh, now I make triangle. If you go clockwise, it's uh, the front. If you go clock counterclockwise, it's the back. Um, that's so that. Uh, anyway, it's just the way the lighting works. There's only eight colors. Uh, if you want to change the lighting, you hit. If you want to reverse it from clock the last. If you hit F, it'll reverse the last triangle from clockwise to counterclockwise, or vice versa. Oh, you know what? That that wasn't such a good idea. Uh, let's. I should have gone. Uh, let me un, let me get rid of that. Okay, we do. Uh, if you're in triangle mode, it selects triangles and not vertices. So we select a rectangle. Uh, this is going to be hard to do. Uh, We want to get rid of that triangle, so we go select it, and then uh, delete. Okay, put it back. Uh, 3D editing is pretty tricky in general. I don't care what you're using. Anyway, now we do uh, make triangle. Uh, let's try this again. I did my triangles foolishly. Let's. It's not quite 180. Okay, now we go... Uh, here to here. Oh shit! Oh, I already had one. Damn it! Hold on. I, don't know. I had a triangle selected or something. I don't know. I'm sorry about that. Get this. Delete. Let's go back. Okay, we'll get this figured out here. Okay.
you have to be careful clicking because sometimes it'll uh if you miss and it'll select something unaware that you're unaware of anyway like when you're clicking on the controls be careful or changing the sliders uh anyway uh okay try this again here 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 okay then here here it does triangles not polygons uh, so you have to build them okay now we have uh half the gun now let's uh let's copy it uh i purposely did it the uh the far one first now we edit uh select rectangle Now we edit, copy, oh we're in triangle mode, it would only select the triangles, uh, we want to go to um, one of these other modes, let's go to move vertex mode, anyway, uh, the copy in, in uh, the clipboard in, uh, in uh, the clipboard only selects triangles when you're in uh, the make triangle mode. Anyway, so now we do copy, and then we do paste, and we want to move the Z coordinate uh, of the, it's pasted on top. Now, uh, uh, hold on a second. I have snap set. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we just uh, we just made a um, copy of the triangles, and I want to see if we got the uh, shading right. Uh, now, clockwise does light, or there's a if you go clockwise or counterclockwise, it makes a difference. Anyway. Uh, we want the inside the inside of objects and the outside of objects should be uh uh the inside should be clockwise and the outside counterclockwise or vice versa anyway uh i'm going to i like the uh i'm going to reverse the uh, uh damn it i keep moving the z coordinate okay all right good enough um, I'm going to flip all those triangles, so we go uh, select a rectangle, and then uh, the transforms will work on everything unless you have something selected. This will flip the triangles clockwise, counterclockwise, anyway. Now, uh, the, both, sides are, both sides are dark. Okay, let's unselect, unselect all. Okay, so the inside is uh oh I got it backward. Oh well we'll it'll be a gray gun. Okay, finally we put the uh the uh connect the top triangles. Uh we gotta flip it, hit F to flip the last one. It only works in the last one if you do it that way anyway. Uh, let's go the other, let's go counterclockwise. Okay, so he's got a gun. Uh, oh, let's flip it. It's going to flip some of the uh, the hand. There's no reason not to flip it. Let's flip it. Okay, we go edit, uh, select rectangle. You only have eight colors because it uses uh, shading. It uses the, uh, the other eight as high intensity colors. Uh, anyway, so... Uh, you can make your own uh, uh, light source. You can do multiple light sources if you do it yourself. Anyway, now we're going to um, transform flip triangle. Okay, and then unselect all. Okay, now it's a dark kind of gun. Uh, the, in this editor, the uh, light source is where the uh, cursor is. So if as you move the, uh, the, the cursor around, you get a different light source. Anyway, uh, that's good enough. Now let's exit and exit and and now you notice he's got a little gun there. Uh, 
I don't have the patience for graphics arts, but uh, anyway, uh, well, that's what I wanted to show you. Good luck. Um,